Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, I've got three tips for you on seeing less and better ads. Advertising is everywhere, and advertising is yuck. It makes us feel like we are missing out. It makes us want things we don't have, or often even need. But it also pays for many of the services that we call free. You're probably watching this video on either YouTube or Facebook. Both of these are free. Both of these companies get their income, probably most of their income, from advertisers and from displaying their ads to us, the user. It's not new and it's not the internet. Newspapers cost an awful lot more to put together than the price you pay at the newsstand. In fact, I'd be surprised if that covered the cost of printing and shipping it to you. It's the ads that make the newspaper profitable, if it actually is. Free-to-air TV is free because of the ads. Online, there are some things that you can do to make the process run a little more in your favour. The way I see it, if I'm going to see ads, I'd rather see ads for things that I'm at least interested in. On top of the interest angle, there's also a security angle to this. If you've subscribed to my newsletter, you'll have seen in this month's newsletter that there was a huge wave of compromised ad servers recently, all serving ads with malware in them. So the less ads you see, the better. Not that I'm saying we should block all ads, because if we do, sites like Facebook and YouTube will either shut down, charge us to use them, or find other and possibly worse ways to make money. So here are three things that you can do to see less and better ads. Firstly, if you're seeing an ad supplied by Google, you'll see a bar like this across the top of the ad. You can click the info I at the top and look at some information about the ad. You can report the ad if you feel it might contain malicious code, or if you think it was in poor taste and might have breached the Google advertising guidelines, you can report it for that as well. But the real juice is down in the ad settings where you can turn on ad personalization and then select topics that you don't want to receive ads about. I'm not really interested in Australian football, so I can turn that off. I can also go through and turn off a range of other topics that I'm not really that interested in. There are lots and lots and lots of topics on this list. If I change my mind, I can scroll all the way to the bottom, see what topics I have turned off, and turn them back on again. Some ads even have an X up in the top right corner, and you can request to never see ads from this advertiser again. On Facebook, you can do a similar thing. In fact, that's how this video came about. My daughter was sick of seeing ads for her karate club. She's already a member. She doesn't need to join now. If it is a sponsored post, the three dots menu up in the top right corner gives you access to the options you need to hide the ad, report the ad, and also further down to see why you are seeing this ad. You can see why you've been targeted. You can hide all ads from this advertiser and also have the option to make more detailed changes to your ad preferences. Here I can see a list of the advertisers I've seen recently and I have the option to hide each one of them. Like Google, I can also see a list of the advertisers I've hidden and have the option to turn them back on. For more general web surfing, if you're using Google Chrome, you can install an extension called Adblock Plus. Now there is a few of the same name. I like the one from adblockplus.org. This will block a lot of sites ads before you ever get to see them and has the side benefit of speeding up page load times as well. Protecting your eyeballs, your wallet, and quite possibly your computer from malicious ads. If you want more information on installing extensions in Chrome, I have an old episode about that linked up here. Many sites are getting savvy to the ad blockers though, and will pop up a message like this, explaining that ad revenue is what keeps the site running and providing you with the steps to enable ads just for their site. At least now you have the option to either see the ads or find different content to go and look at. Maybe you could just watch another Tech Doctor episode. Question of the day, do you use an ad blocker? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking the link here and subscribe to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. 
Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.